What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Inside the Horseshoe. My name is Matt, and today is my second Colts mock draft. I'm very excited for this one. Again, it's just going to be round two through four. We'll do more rounds as we do more of these mock drafts, but for the first couple, I just wanted to do round two through four. Um, also, I'm going to let you know right now, I'm just going to assume that Christian Watson will be taken before the Colts select, so if he does appear in this mock draft, I'm not going to take him. At least not in this one. But before we get into the mock draft, if you're new or if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate if you would click that subscribe button. Also click the bell icon. That way you're notified whenever I upload a video or when I go live. If you like this video, smack the like button. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you agree with my mock draft or do you disagree with my mock draft? Let me know in the comments. And also, if you have a Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter at horseshoe underscore pod. There's a link in the description down below. So that being said... Let's get into it. Okay, so at pick 42, I'm going to go wide receiver here. Now, you could go other positions like left tackle. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't think they're going to take a left tackle until like round five at the absolute earliest. I'm saying that because I believe that the Colts have a lot of confidence in Matt Pryor, and they think he could be a really good left tackle. And he's still somewhat young too, so I don't think they're going to go left tackle early I do think they're going to go wide receiver in the second round whether they trade back or they stay at 42 I think they go wide receiver now Sky Moore is not going to be available I I think Sky Moore is going to be taken in the mid to late 30s at the absolute latest so I don't think Sky Moore is going to be available Uh, Jalen Tolbert is a guy that's going to be available potentially Uh, Justin Ross Again, I don't think Christian Watson's going to be available. So because of that, I'm going to say the Colts take Alec Pierce here. Um, I like Alec Pierce. Alec Pierce is what Chris Ballard has been wanting. He wants someone that can stretch the field. He's a big receiver. Chris Ballard likes that. And he's also really fast. Um, He plays fast. I think he would be very, very tricky for corners to defend. So in my opinion, I think, assuming Christian Watson is not going to be available, the Indianapolis Colts will select Alec Pearson. I would agree with that. So at pick 73, you could go multiple different ways. You know, you could go wide receiver again. You got Shakir, Mechie, uh, Calvin Austin available, David Bell. Um, You could go tight end here. Um, Greg Doolish, is that how you say his last name? He's potentially available. Jeremy Ruckert, Jelani Woods is another name out there. Um, you could go there. Um, you could also go offensive tackle. Kellen Dyche, if that's how you say his name. Zach Tom. You got guys like that available. You could go secondary here. Marcus Jones, Tyreek Woolen, Cordell Flott. You could go with someone like that. So there's a few different ways you can go. But I do think there's a really good chance the Colts go back-to-back with receivers. And I wouldn't be against it. So for me, looking at this list, I'm going to go John Mechie. Really good route runner. Um, I think he has the potential to be a really nice receiver. I think he was overshadowed by uh, Jameson Williams. So in my opinion, I would go John Mechie here. Okay, so with the final pick in this mock draft, I'm going to go corner. I think it's a good idea to add more depth to your secondary, and going after a corner would definitely do that. Uh, Someone that the Colts are reportedly interested in is Cordell Flott or Float. That is a name I guess they are interested in. And honestly, looking at who else is available at the cornerback position, he's probably the best corner available. I don't think he's a day one starter. However, I think he could develop into a starter at some point. So in my opinion, I think they go corner here, and that's what I would do. And I think they're going to take... Cordell Flott or float. So there you go. There's my second mock draft to go over the picks again really fast. You got Alec Pierce in the second round, John Mechie the third in the third round, and then Cordell Float or Flott in the fourth round. So thank you very much for watching this mock draft. If you're new or if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate if you would click that subscribe button. Also click the bell icon. That way you're notified whenever I upload a video or when I go live. If you like this video, smack the like button. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you agree with my list or do you disagree with my list? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you have a Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter at horseshoe underscore pod. There's a link 
in the description down below. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Matt, Bleed Blue, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you watch one of these other two videos. They're cool. Also, if you're new, please click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon. I greatly appreciate your support.